Uh, they're a second half team. Uh, we turned the ball over. They got easy looks. Uh, and uh, I mean, we, we shot the ball poorly. That's plain and simple. I mean, even in the first half, I think we're only shooting 30%. And uh, you know, if you do that, you're not going to win too many games, especially again uh, against you know the Eastern Conference right now. So do you just do, do the teams that beat on you, beat on you, beat on you, and then put pull away. Yeah, and you know we we had a uh, you know we know it's gonna be a physical game against them, and you know we just had to be physical back. But you know they just went on that one one run and they just kept kept their distance. So uh, you know it's just a poor poor shooting night for us as well. But you got hands to hand it to them; they're a good team. And on a poor shooting night, when you're only going one and done, that doesn't help things. No, they got they got some big bodies in there. Uh, you know they all rebound uh, as a group. I mean, a lot of teams can take uh, you know note from them. Uh, as far as their cohesiveness on the on the defensive end, so uh, that's something that you know, we definitely need to get back to as well. But um, you know, it's we look at it like you know, it's like another season for us. We're eight and eight now. We're at, we're at 500. We knew it was gonna be a tough stretch for us, but uh, I know that we're up for the challenge, and we get to go back home and, and play a game against a good Denver team. Kevin, what do you shoot? think? What do you think the difference in you guys is home and on the road? You seem to be so much more energized and play at home so much better. Uh, you know, I don't know what it is. Uh, you know, I just think that uh, you know some games we've caught back-to-backs on the road, but uh, you know we played some good teams, so we just uh, we're definitely doing a good job at home defending our home court. But we definitely need to have some carryover onto the road. How much you guys just sort of have to keep your head above water here in these next six games when we're playing teams? Yeah, I mean, such a winning percentage. speaking of being away, I think you know out of our next like 10 or 15 games, and you know. I know a large majority of them are away, and you know one of our home games is in Mexico City. So yeah, we just have to uh, continue to get better. I know that we will, uh, especially heading into the new year. But right now, you know, we just have to try to win as many games as possible, and you know, not panic. I don't think any of us are looking at it like, oh, you know, we really need to change some stuff up. We just we just need to continue to get better. Uh, worry about ourselves and come out and play every night like uh, it's our last. What was your impressions of Indiana? They're very good, very very physical. Uh, you know, we I think everybody uh, you know heard the noise that they made uh, last year in the playoffs, and they have uh, you know two very good players in, in George and the big fellow Hibbert down low, and uh, you know they're going to make a lot of noise the rest of the year as well. Up until the last week, Rick said he wasn't concerned about this offense. He sort of changed a little bit in, in, in this last week. How much of a concern is it? What do you attribute it to? Practice time. Uh, we, we even mentioned it during the game that we, we need to get on the practice court and walk through some things because uh, we just need to clean it up. And if uh, you know, the ball was, was really moving and clicking so so great in the first uh, you know few games of the season or five or five to ten games of the season, and right now it's just kind of at a standstill. And, uh, you know, we're not getting as many open shots as we should, so that's something that we'll work on. Uh, we'll probably get on the practice floor tomorrow, go over a few things, and hopefully have a different, uh, you know, kind of look on the offensive end.